Here we're gonna look at a classic problem from Islamic mathematics. So this was from around the year 1000, and it has to do with these things called the loons of Al-Hazen. And let's see how we have this set up. So we have a right triangle, which I have in purple, and it's inscribed inside of a circle. And in fact, this circle is the circumcircle of this right triangle. So let's maybe go ahead and give this right triangle a name. So I'll give this vertex here, vertex A. This vertex will be named B, and this vertex will be named C. And then we have a half circle defined by these points A, C, and another half circle defined by these points B, C, and the intersections of those half circles and this circumcircle create something called a loon. So here we have this loon down here in red, this loon over here in blue, and our goal is to show that the sum of the areas of these two loons is equal to the area of this right triangle. So see what I did there? We've got blue plus red equals purple. Okay, but maybe the first thing that we want to do, and this is maybe well known, but we're going to prove it just in case, and that is that since this is a right triangle, AB turns out to be a diameter for this circumcircle. So let's write that down. So AB is a diameter of the, and I'll just put large circle. Okay. And before we do that, maybe let's give uh, some names to other things in this picture. So let's say that maybe this opposite side here is length C, this opposite side here is length A, and then this opposite side here is length B. Okay, and we're actually gonna need a picture to prove this claim, so let's maybe get that picture on the board now. Okay, so now we've got a picture ready to prove this subclaim. So I've set it up as follows. So we've got a circle, and then inside of that circle, we've got two legs of what will form a right triangle. In other words, we've got two line segments that are normal to each other or perpendicular to each other. So we've got BC and then we also have AC. And what we wanna show is that if O is the center of the circle, so let's maybe write that down. So O is the center of the circle. This up here, AB being the diameter of the large circle, will follow if we can show this equivalent fact, which is a, O, B are collinear. So in other words, A, O, and B all lie on the same line. Okay, so let's maybe see how we can do that. So we'll do that by introducing a couple of more triangles into this situation. So I wanna introduce this triangle here, which is A, O, C, and then this triangle up here, which is B, O, C. Okay, nice. And next, I want to notice that this length right here, so A to O, is the same thing as this length right here, O to C. And that's because this O is a center of the circle and A and C are two points on the circle. Remember, we're assuming that O is a center. We're not assuming that A, O, and B are collinear just yet. That's what we're trying to get to. So thus, this is also the same length as these two other line segments. So next, since those two line segments have the same length, that means their opposite angles have the same measures. So that tells you that this angle has the same measure as this angle, and that tells you that this angle right here has the same angle measure as this angle right here. Notice that from this triangle to, to this triangle, we don't have to maintain the same angle though. It's just within the triangles, we know those have the same angle. Okay, so let's give these some names. So maybe we'll call this one alpha. We'll call this one alpha. This is beta, and then this is beta. Now next, we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle equals 180. So that tells us that this angle right here, which I'll maybe put in purple, is 180 minus 2 alpha. Okay. And then furthermore, we know that this angle right here, which I'll double in purple, is going to be 180 minus 2 times beta. 
like that. Another thing that's given is that alpha plus beta is 90 because those are building this right angle. So let's put that in here, alpha plus beta is 90. Now we can finish this off by measuring the angle AOB. So let's do that. So measure angle AOB. So that's gonna be equal to 180 minus two alpha plus 180 minus two beta, which turns out to be 180 plus 180 minus two times alpha plus beta. But now notice alpha plus beta is 90, which makes two alpha plus beta 180. So that means this thing cancels with this thing and we have the angle measure of that is 180 degrees, which is the same thing as AOB being collinear. But if AO and B are collinear, and both of these are radii of the circle, that makes AB a diameter of this larger circle. So we've proved this claim. Okay, let's get rid of this and then we're ready to calculate our areas. So we just got done proving that AB is a diameter for this larger circle, which is the, the circumcircle of the triangle ABC. So next we're ready to prove that the area of this red loon plus the area of this blue loon is equal to the area of this triangle. Let's maybe go ahead and calculate the area of the triangle first. That's pretty easy to do. So notice the area of triangle ABC since this is a right triangle, it's just one half base times height, but we know the base and the height very easily. That's A times B. So here we have this is one half A times B, or maybe we would write it as A times B over two. So now we've really got two approaches to the area of these loons. We could calculate the area of the red loon and the blue loon individually. That turns out to be pretty tricky. So what we will do instead is to calculate the sum of the area of these loons together. So let's maybe do that. So area of, let's call it the red loon plus the area of the blue loon. So we'll make this calculation using like an inclusion exclusion strategy. We'll add some areas in, notice that we have over counted the area, subtract some areas out, realize that we've undercounted the area and then add an area back in. So first what we wanna do is add in the area of these half circles, this half circle AC, which, have, which has a diameter of B, which means it has a radius of B over two. And then this area of this half circle BC, which has a diameter of A, but that makes it have a radius of A over two. So putting that together, we have one half times pi and then A over two squared plus one half times pi and then B over two squared. So let's see what we've done there. That's like the area of this half circle like we just talked about plus the area of this half circle that we just talked about. But now we've counted too much because we've counted the area of this portion right here and this portion right here. So it's hard to subtract those little portions individually, but what we can do is subtract off the area of the half circle defined by AB. So notice that circle has diameter C, which means it has radius C over two. So here we're gonna subtract one half pi c over two squared. So that subtracts off this entire half circle defined by these points a, b, c. But now we've subtracted too much off. We've subtracted the area of the triangle away as well, which is bad news because we never added that in in the first place. So now we need to add in the area of the triangle to make up for the fact that we just subtracted that. So we know the area of that triangle is AB over two, so let's do that. So this is plus AB over two. So what's left is to make this calculation. So maybe I'll factor a bunch of stuff out of these first three terms. Notice I can factor a pi out of the numerator and I can factor an eight out of the denominator. And I can do that because I've got a two squared in the denominator of all of them. So that gives me pi over eight, 
and then I'll bring these yellow parentheses down, I'm left with a squared from the first term, b squared from the second term, minus c squared from the third term. So I'm left with something like that. After that, I'm left with this a, b over two. But since triangle A, B, C is a right triangle, by the Pythagorean theorem, we know A squared plus B squared is C squared, making this stuff just become zero. So we end up with just A, B over two, which is in fact the area of our purple triangle, which was the goal. And that's a good place to stop.